Hey guys, it's Brandon Minniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video we're going to show you Android with HTC Sense running on the HTC HD2. Let's get to it. Now, of course, this is running through the Harrett.exe Linux bootloader, but in the past, a lot of devices on XD developers uh, that typically run Windows Mobile uh, can run Android very, very well to the point where you can use it as your daily operating system. So Wi-Fi works and cellular data works and everything like that works. On the HD2, it's not there yet, as you're going to see. This is just the start of hopefully good things to come for HD2 owners. Right now, it's going to go into uh, Android, so I'll come back in a minute. All right, and we are loading into Android here on the HTC HD2. Always cool to see. I'm going to let it load. It's going to be very slow and overall not usable, but it's cool that we're getting there. Uh, this is the first step of many to getting a smooth Android uh, working on the HTC HD2. So let's let it load. All right, and here we are. Uh, so this is Sense. We can swipe to the left. Uh, like I said, it's buggy, so it doesn't always do what you want it to do. So let me get it back to the home screen. Okay, so we can swipe to the left, loading the mail application. Swipe again. We are in the HTC messaging application. And swipe over to the left again. There should be probably nothing there. Back to the center. We can swipe to the right. These are favorites. You can add a contact. Let's see what happens if we tap on that. It should go to the add contact screen, right? And there it goes. We can select a contact to add to our favorites. Let's go back home. Go into the program list here, which is slow to load, of course. And some things work, and most things do not. Let's jump into the settings to see if we can get wireless radios turned on. It looks like it's in flight mode right now. Okay, here we are. I'm going to go to wireless and networks. It actually seems to be getting a little bit faster as I use it. And it's in airplane mode, but it's kind of switching in and out. So if I uncheck it, it kind of just goes right back into airplane mode, and then there's an error message. So we're getting there. A very, very good first step. There's a lot left to go to get this to be usable, but you can follow the progress at the thread at XJ Developers. I'll put a link up in the, in the sidebar and, and on the post on pocketnow.com. Uh, we can go into the phone application and see the dial pad, but we cannot dial out because it's not recognizing the SIM card. So, dial pad. So anyway, that's it for now. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like Android on the HD2, and we'll be sure to follow it closely for you. Uh, and also subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash pocketnowvideo. That's it for now.